If you've been keen enough while moving around Nairobi, you may have seen the Kwetu and Kejani brand of purpose built student accommodation facilities. When you invest in the Econ I right, then you it means you will own units in these two brands. Let's start with defining what is a REIT. A Real Estate Investment Trust or Real Estate Investment Trust are regulated investment vehicles where investors like you and I pull our funds together, just like we do when investing in money market funds, to invest in real estate um, assets. In exchange, for the money that we give the REIT manager, we are allocated units, and by units I mean shares, where we earn through dividends, and capital gains those are the two ways we make money from read so we do not earn interest well and well investing in reads we earn through capital gains and dividends this means that yes you can invest in real estate passively without putting up um, rentals buying a plot of land or buying a house now before we dive in let's at, let's look at a typical structure of real estate investment trusts Think of a REIT as an investment company that uses the money you invest with them to build or buy real estate assets. These assets may appreciate in value, that is capital gains, or generate a regular income from which you get a return in the form of dividends. If you want a full guide on how to invest in real estate investment trusts in Kenya or REITs in Kenya, click the link on my bio. Now. Before we dive in further, let's also start with defining what is the ACON, what is the ACON I write. The ACON Student Accommodation Income Real Estate Investment Trust is the investment vehicle that is responsible for the two assets that I mentioned, Kejani and Kwetu brand of Purpose Bill Student Accommodation Facilities. The Econ Income REIT is Africa's first student housing REIT. So imagine, Africa's first student housing REIT is in Kenya and it is in Nairobi. That is why I'm super excited about this video because if you are not already investing in it, I'm going to show you how you can invest in it. Let's look at the nine assets under the uh, Econ Income REIT. So there are eight, currently, by the time I'm recording this video, there are eight um, Kwetu assets and there is one Kejani assets. Now look at, let's look at the list. Kwetu Jogo Road, then there is the Kwetu Wilson View, Kwetu Ruaraka, Kwetu Hallingham, Kwetu Abadea Heights 1, Kwetu Abadea Heights 2, Kwetu Karen, Kwetu Parklands, and then there is the Kejani Karen. Tell me which one of these assets have you heard of or have you seen? Let's talk about how to buy units in the Acorn I right. To invest in the Acorn uh, Income REIT, which is currently listed on the unquoted securities platform of the Nairobi Securities Exchange, you need an account on a platform, on an online platform called VUCA. VUCA is a Swahili word which means crossover. The purpose of this video is to help you understand how the VUCA platform works, you know, how the VUCA website works. So I'm going to take you through a few things. How to log in or sign up um, or access your VUCA platform. Number two, the difference between the, the dynamic and the static wallet balance. Number three, uh, the different sections of the website, the, the different sections of this VUCA platform. Number four, how to buy and sell right and we are going to do it practically how to buy and sell units of the econ i write and then uh, i'm going to talk to you about the ceo's recommendation you know the econ holdings um, limited ceo i had a conversation with him a month ago and so we're going to talk about his recommendation on how much you should invest um in this street in order to get the best returns or optimum returns my name is agatha from the wealth tribe and this is where we learn how to build wealth you know it together if you're new here welcome <laughs> let's start with how to log in and access your vuka account to access your account you go to portal.vuka.co.ke you enter your email and password and click login 
um and so let's this is my account and i'm going to use it to show you how to navigate the VUCA platform up here you can see that i am in the i have the silver membership this is because as you can see here i've invested less than um a hundred thousand shillings and i've been, been a member since 30th july 2022 i'd be interested to know in the comment section how long you have been a member so for me i've been a VUCA member for a, a year now um so right next to the silver membership button is the orange button which shows uh, upgrade which reads upgrade if i click this button then i'd be able to upgrade my membership um from silver vuka has six types of memberships right and so these memberships are silver gold platinum platinum plus diamond and charmer and so as you can see every membership every membership level has the, an investment amount a joining fee and an annual membership fee let's go back to my account and see what would happen if i wanted to upgrade my subscription from silver to gold so to upgrade my subscription i clicked upgrade and then so let's say i wanted to upgrade to gold but of course for me to upgrade to gold i would need to invest more because for the gold membership one has to invest between a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand but um to make it practical i'll go ahead and click um just to show you how it works so if i was to upgrade to this uh, gold membership i would need to pay a thousand shillings in joining fees um as you can see here is that for you to be a gold member you need to pay 1499 um in the gold uh in the gold level but then for the silver membership it's 499 and since i'm already a silver member i had already paid the 499 that's why i'm only i the only need me to pay the difference which is a thousand bob and then um let's see how much i'm supposed to pay in if i was to upgrade to the gold subscription in terms of annual membership fee is four shillings and 93 cents before i show you how they arrived at four the four shillings and 93 cents please note that the annual membership fee yeah this annual membership fee it's prorated um from the time you joined to the time your subscription expires so as i sh had shown you i joined on 30th july so that's why um i'm required to pay this so this amount will be different for everyone because each of us uh, joined VUCA on different dates but um just to show you how they arrived at the 4.93 um so to join the gold category i'm supposed to pay 4.93 shillings in annual membership fees as of when i'm recording this video there are six days left until my silver membership expires this is how the vuka team calculated the 4.93 so this is 799 shillings that is required in the gold membership divided by 365 days as i told you this membership this annual membership fee is prorated annually and so that will give me two shillings point one nine point one nine and then the two shillings point one nine multiplied by the six days that are left is equals to thirteen point one three uh and then for the silver membership 499 divided by 365 is equal to, to 1.37 and then 1.37 multiplied by six is equals to 8.20 so if i subtract 13.13 minus 8.20 then that's how they arrived at the 4.93 see here so the the sum the answer is 4.9 three shillings and so um how much you pay to upgrade to the next category depends on how many days you have left in your current membership categories or rather how many credits you still have and so that's why here it shows that um i'm only required for now to pay 4.93 uh, and so of course um if i was to click uh, if i was to go ahead and and upgrade it would be important for me to uh, to read the terms and conditions always always read the terms and conditions for any investment not just vuka so that you know what you're getting yourself into and you don't end up saying that i didn't know right if you're charged something and then you end up saying why are they deducting money from my account i didn't know it's important it's mostly because you didn't read the terms and conditions so there are three ways that i can pay for this um membership upgrade it's um paying through mpesa so what i need to do is enter my mpesa mobile number and then vuka will automatically send a prompt to my phone 
well enter my mpesa pin and so the pay, uh, the payment will be done uh, i can also pay for this membership using uh do, do, doing by using a direct bank transfer so this is uh vuka's account details the bank with ncba uh so you if you do such a transfer uh you need to to do to kindly use the below details and email to you need to email them a proof of payment alongside your member id to care at vuka.co.ke please note that uh this member id that is shown here is my member id so when you're emailing them please use your member id not my member id this reference is my agatha's um member id please uh, use yours and then you can also pay for the same using your uh mpesa app you know go to your mpesa app uh, select pay bill and use the details shown um yeah you use the details shown but of course the account number you need to use your member number this is mine guys so please use your member number don't use mine and then um so after that then uh, you'd successfully be able to upgrade uh, so of course um you upgrade to the next category based on where you are so for me i, I used gold because i'm on silver so if you've invested like around 200,000 shillings that you need to upgrade to platinum and the math or the calculation on how on the difference in fees is is done using the same method i have shown you now that we are done with that part uh let's go to the current um valuation so you can see um my total investment uh, via vuka so far is 10,617.50 the total units i have i own is 500 I have earned 125 shillings in dividends so far. I have all, and then I've earned 177.50 in current in capital appreciation. I have earned 0% in interest. You should not be alarmed about earning 0% in interest because as I said in the beginning, REITs don't earn interest. REITs you earn um through capital appreciation and dividends so if yours read 0.0 percent actually yours should also read 0 percent don't be alarmed about this it's normal uh and then the returns i have had so far on through this investment is 2.85 percent uh and so and my current valuation is seven for 10,000 and 10,795 shillings and this current valuation is um my total investment plus uh, my capital appreciation so one of the most common question i i get is why is my return so low and even on your on my dashboard you can see that my return is at 2.85 percent so let me first of all show you how they calculate that return so how did the vuka team calculate my 2.5 percent return it's 125 shillings that and from as dividends plus 177.50 i got from capital gains divided by the total um my total investment which is 10,671.50 so these two add up to 302.5 divided by 10,671.50 and that gives you you know 0 0.028 and all and then if you multiply that we express it as, as a percentage that is how they arrived at 2.85 percent another very common question when people log into their dashboards and see uh when people log into their dashboards and see uh, such a, an amount they always ask why is my total return on investment 2.8 percent for my case lower than the 8.2 percent annual re uh, return that the econ i write reported in their financial year 2022 this is because a company's financial return is for a given period right uh that is a calendar year so the return shown on your vuka dashboard is cumulative based on when you started investing so my 2.8 percent is 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 based on when i started investing and this also explains why some people's dashboards show that they have more than the 8.2 percent return for example our driver shared a screenshot of his dashboard and it showed that he'd ha he has a 17.86 return so far this is because he joined vuka in 2021 in fact he was among the first 50 people who started investing with vuka so for him the longer you've been invested the more return you'll get uh i i, I as agatha i started investing in mid of uh via vuka in mid 2022 and i showed you that on my dashboard uh here where i say where it shows um, since that is july 2022 uh so i started investing in mid 2022 and by the time i'm recording this video i have only earned one dividend 
yeah and this is the second half of 2022 dividend and so when they pay the first half of 2023 dividends i will upload a screenshot to show you my returns so subscribe to this channel so that when i up, up, upload that screenshot you'll see so when it comes to any investment this is not just vuka when it comes to any investment always ask yourself how long has my capital been working for me because over a long and consistent period of time your capital will grow right if it's a legit investment over a long period of time um, and consistent period of time your capital will grow and so you can also uh, you can also use this formula that the VUCA team provided uh, to calculate your total return so it's dividends plus your current valuation minus uh, total investment divided by your total investment so if i do this math i'll also arrive at the 2.85 percent okay so we go back to um we go back here and so now let's talk about how to buy units of the econ i ride so if for example um so you use these buttons um down here to to select how many units you want to buy so for example if i click 100 units you see the system automatically tells you how much it costs to buy a hand um 100 units and so um if for example you have 50000 shillings to invest on this platform then all you need to do is keep clicking these buttons until um the system arrives at the amount of money that you have yeah so you see every time i click so you see 2350 shill uh, you need uh, uh, you need to pay 52,258 so you keep clicking until you arrive at the number of units you want to buy or the amount of money you want to invest and if you want to go back to um to zero you just click this refresh button and so it will go back to zero units so let's um use a practical e example and invest um 100 units so 100 units we click buy units as you can see that i'm confirming to place an order of 100 units worth 2223.77 shillings um as i said when i talked about um when i talked about upgrading your membership i said there are three ways you can pay um for your membership it's the same thing when it comes to a, a buying units so you can pay using mpesa you can pay using the mpesa app um same method or you can pay uh using a bank but um for the purpose of this video let's go to you i can uh, paying i can uh, let's go to paying using mpesa so as you can see 100 the value of 100 units is 2159 because one unit is valued at um 21.59 shillings and then there's a three percent service charge listen this three percent service charge is charged um for all buy and sell orders all buy and sell orders and so this is why um a month ago when i interviewed the ceo of acorn holdings limited he said he explained that buying and selling your units within a short period of time is destructive to your wealth building journey vuka or rather the acorn i write is a mid-term to long-term investment right so if you keep buying and selling over a short period of time then you'll keep losing a lot of money because of this three percent service charge so it's a mid-term to long-term investment which means buy to hold don't if and he also insisted that if you have your twenty thousand shillings for example and that is money you need for your emergency fund or that is money you foresee needing in the next one year please don't invest it on this platform because then this this service charge will really destroy your wealth and so yeah so if i was to go ahead and buy um if i was to go ahead and buy the 100 units all i'd need to do is input my number uh input my number and then click um input my number and then click i have read the terms and conditions and then click add um 2223.202 my wa my wallet to buy units um yeah my wallet to um buy units so that's what you'd need to do in order to um to buy the units and then when it comes to the selling units on your VUCA platform, it's the same process. The same process. You, if you want to liquidate, uh, if you want to sell units worth um, 2,000 shillings, you just click 100. Uh, so you keep clicking these buttons until it arrives at the amount of money you want to liquidate. So let's say, for example, you have 100,000 shillings um, invested on this platform and you want to liquidate 20,000 of that. All you need to do is keep keep clicking these buttons until you arrive at, an, at the amount of money that you want. Of course, it can never be like specific um 20,000 and I'll explain why in a few minutes but yeah so if you wanted to liquidate like 20,000 this would be a good amount 19,895 
five. Uh, and so also, um, even when you're selling units, again, there's a 3% service charge. Um, there's a 3% service charge. And when you're selling, this uh, amount of money is actually deducted from your, uh, this amount of money is deducted from the total value of um, the total value of, your, of the units that you're trying to sell. So as you can see, the value of 950 units is 20,510, but they have to deduct uh, the 3% service charge. That's how you only get 19,895. Um, and so where does this 3% service charge go to? This 3% service charge goes to the designated brokerage house, uh, the CMA approved admin, administrator, and the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Yes, that's where the money goes. Um, so we are done with the selling of units. Let's go to one other very common question when it comes to uh, investing through the acorn all right uh, investing through vuca what is the difference um between the dynamic wallet balance and the static wallet balance oh before i go there uh, i forgot to say that when if i was to go ahead and place uh, this buy order of a uh, 100 units all orders received during the month are processed and by processed i mean when you're assigned units right when you will see that your number of units here has increased so is um all orders are received during the month and are they are processed that is your assigned units on the last day of every month on a first in first out basis please note that if i was to place an order today right and today is the 24th of july Tomorrow or right away, I won't see that there's a difference in my number of units. But at the end of the month, on the last day of the month, if you log in, especially if you log in on the first day of the of the following month, if I log in on first August, I will see first August, I will see that my uh, the number of my units has increased. Now let's go to the most common question: What is the difference between the dynamic wallet balance and the static wallet balance? I'll start with the static wallet balance. The static wallet um, balance is used to buy and sell units uh is used to buy and sell units on this platform that is what the static wallet balance is for but the dynamic wallet the dynamic wallet is an active wallet used to buy uh used to sorry used to withdraw and deposit money from the platform so that's the difference dynamic wallet we use it to deposit and withdraw money from this platform the static uh, wallet is used to buy to buy and sell units from the VUCA platform that's the difference so another thing i wanted to mention is that uh when i was buying the 100 units here right if i went ahead and used the default method of paying using mpesa if i bought the 100 units that money would be deposited so when you make a buy order that money is first deposited in the dynamic wallet and then uh, when I use the default method, that default method, that default M-Pesa method, that money would have first been deposited in my dynamic wallet and then automatically moved to the static wallet. But if I bought the same 100 units using a bank account, uh, using the bank account method or using the M-Pesa um, app method, what would have happened is that that money would have been deposited in my dynamic wallet balance. And when I log in, <coughs> I will see that money in my dynamic wallet balance. Of course, for a bank transfer, it will take 24 hours. For the M-Pesa app, it will be automatic. Uh, so the money will be reflected in the, my, in the dynamic wallet balance. And then I would need to log login i would need to log in and come i would need to log in let's say for example there would be like ten thousand shillings if that's what i've deposited i would need to log in and then buy units so that's the difference between depositing using mpesa app and using the bank versus using the automatic or the default method uh, that is provided by the vuca platform you can choose whichever one works for you but just know that that is the difference between the dynamic wallet balance and the static wallet balance um then on this dynamic wallet balance there is uh, provision here for add money why is this a uh, bit important it's important because let me show you something so the minimum amount of money that you can invest using this vuca platform is 222.38 shillings and that 222.38 shillings would get you 10 units of uh, of the acorn i write so that's the minimum amount you can invest uh, right and so that minimum amount is um the value of 10 units is 215.9 uh, shillings and then there's a three percent service charge that is the minimum amount you can invest on this platform but if you use the add money button on the dynamic wallet um you can add 
less than the 222.38 shillings. So using this button, uh, using this provision, you can even deposit 100 shillings. You can depo deposit 50 shillings. You can deposit 75 shillings. Any amount, you can even deposit, you know, 100,000. Any amount. So this add money button allows you to add any amount. This is good for people who have little amount of money or small amount of money. By this I mean in that you can deposit 100 shillings, 50 shillings, 75 shillings until you build up to the amount or to the total amount of money you want to invest. So it's like some sort of saving wallet. You know, you can use this dynamic wallet to save money towards the bigger goal. If you want to save up to 10k, you can deposit um, uh, you can deposit during the month. You, you remember that your your order <clears throat> the, your orders that are received during the month will be processed at the end of the month so if you earn on a weekly basis for example let's say you work at a salon and yeah and and let's say you you earn money on a daily or weekly basis you can deposit money on this uh, uh dynamic wallet balance every week and then at the end of the month you come and and, and click buy units using the money that will be in your dynamic wallet balance i hope that's clear um and then so the other thing that's important to learn is that when you earn dividends right from the econ i write that money is deposited in the dynamic wallet balance when you earn dividend it's deposited in your dynamic wallet balance um and also this dynamic and, and so let's say for example if i and if i and dividends right or no, it's not if when i earn dividends right i can come and withdraw money because as i said the dynamic uh, wallet balance is used to uh uh, withdraw and top up money in your VUCA platform. So you can use the withdraw button to withdraw the dividends that you earn from this platform. Um, and then it's also very, very important for you to know that the investments um, through this platform do not uh, uh, automatically compound. You know, the, the way we invest in money market funds and then every month you earn interest and then that interest is automatically reinvested. That's not how this platform works. So when you earn dividends, the amount of money will be deposited in this dynamic wallet balance and then you have the responsibility to log in and reinvest that money. So the team, uh, the VUCA team, cannot reinvest your dividends on your behalf. Yes, you cannot invest your dividends on your behalf and because the Capital Markets Authority um, has this law that um, they have to get consent from you. You know, they have to get consent from you to reinvest the money on your behalf. So yes, you have to, to log in. And so this is a good reminder that if you know you earned dividends or you, if you know you have money in your dynamic wallet balance that you, you topped up, please log in and reinvest that money because it will not happen automatically. Uh, and also like if you use the add money back on and add money into your dynamic wallet balance it is also your responsibility to log in and come and place an order for units the the team will not do it for you uh, there is also another question people as they always ask and and you can even see on my screen here that there is this 0 0.57 shillings in my dynamic wallet balance so people always ask me why is there a few shillings in my dynamic wallet balance or why is there a few shillings or a few cents in my dynamic wallet balance uh, so the reason is let's use a practical example um, for me to explain so for example if you click um if you click add money right in your dynamic wallet balance and top up a hundred uh, ten thousand shillings so if you top up ten thousand in your dynamic wallet balance and then place an order to buy units those uh, the, the units will be 463 so 463 is the number of units you can buy with uh using um ten thousand shillings so ten thousand divide, divide by 21.59 which is the cost of one econ unit is equals to 463.18 right so and if you multiply 463 times one uh unit that will add up to 9996.17 yet you had topped up 10000 minus there the the true value of those units there will always be a difference of they they going to be a difference of 3.83 shillings right so these 3.8 shillings will remain in your dynamic wallet until the next time you top up your account so that is why because you can't buy basically what i'm trying to say here is that you can't buy half a unit of the econ i right you have to buy a full unit and a full unit is 21.59 so that's why there will always be some shillings, a few shillings or cents um, here in your dynamic wallet balance. So that's it. I have um, now you know what is the difference between your dynamic wallet balance and your static wallet balance. So actually, the reason why you're seeing that I have two thousand four hundred and forty-six point one five shillings in my uh, static wallet balance is because I bought um, and I actually I can even show you holdings. 
yeah the reason i have that uh, that that money is because you can see on 18th july i bought 10 units right um I bought 10 units uh, and so this is pending yeah the reason why it's pending is because it's not yet the end of the month so i have to wait until the end of the month for me for them for the team to assign me units and then also on 23rd july i bought 100 units um which is also pending because again it's not the end of the month i have to wait until the end of the month uh, the reason why I, I made these purchases is because uh is when i was trying to figure out how this platform works so that i create this video for you now that we are done we were actually done with oh no one more thing what is the total wallet balance the total wallet balance is the dynamic wallet balance plus your static wallet balance so addition of these two balances equals to your total wallet balance so we are done with um the first page of this um, pl um platform page two is the holdings page so the holdings page will show you your total investment the number of units you hold your dividends that you've earned so far your capital appreciation your current valuation and your percentage in returns and i've explained all that and then this holdings page will also show you all your buy orders so these are all the buy orders i've ever placed since i joined this platform so it will show you all your buy orders and it will also show you all your sell orders as you can see i've never sold any of my units because um i know that this is a mid-term to long-term investment so my goal is not to put in money on this investment that i'm then going to withdraw in a month or that i'm then going to withdraw even in a year so uh, that's what the holdings page is about and then there's a wallet page the wallet page also has the dynamic wallet balance and the static wallet balance and you can do the same thing um you can add money or withdraw money uh the same things i showed you um um i showed you in the other uh, in the other when you were on the home page and by the way one trick that i used to always remember what is the difference between the dynamic wallet balance and the static wallet balance is use the word static you know static um, static means it, it means it's something permanent so that means i as an investor i cannot edit you know the money or i cannot withdraw uh, or the money in my static wallet balance so basically this is the work of the vuka team but then by dynamic wallet balance is an active wallet right and that is why it allows us to add money and withdraw money so this one is active and the static wallet balance is static you can't uh you can't edit um you can't edit or move money around in it the other thing that we see on the wallet page is your wallet history ever since you joined you see as you can see on that is july i had money was added in my dynamic wallet balance that is when i joined and paid the 998 shillings and then uh the 998 was deducted to pay for my subscription all everything so right all my my wallet history so you should be able to also see your wallet history then it also shows you your withdrawal request again i have never sold any of my units so i don't have data on that and then after that we have what we call my profile page so i won't click this because this has all the my my personal information but i'll show you an example of how this profile page should look like because it's important since i've been receiving questions about the same so your profile page has all the information that you provided when you joined vuka you know it will have your email your mobile number what subscription your you, the, the type of your account whether it's individual or chama it will have your member id yeah so when i keep referring to your member id and so that when you're emailing the vuka team you should quote your member id this is what i mean when you go to your profile you can get your member id so it has all other uh, information about um, about you and then um the, the your profile page also has this bit on the right where you you can add your bank details why is it important to add your bank details on this platform so that you have an option when you're withdrawing your money so for example if you earn fifty thousand in dividends you can either withdraw that money to your mpesa or you can withdraw that money to your bank account so add your bank details so that you can have that option there's also the beneficiary details somebody asked me on instagram uh, what happens if I pass on? What happens to my money that I've invested on the VUCA platform if I pass on? Because there is no way to add beneficiary details. There is a way to add beneficiary details. So all you need to do is I uh, click here, add beneficiary details, and add your next of kin. So that in case in the unfortunate event that something happens to you, then the VUCA team will know what to do with your investment. There is also an emergency contact. If you want to add an emergency contact, you know maybe in case you're traveling or something, or maybe the VUCA team can't reach you 
please add your emergency contact so that they can uh, they know what to do with your investment or in case they are, they are trying to reach you yeah so please go ahead and click the my profile page on your platform and add those details after that we have what we call invite friends so as a member or as a VUCA member you have the uh, exclusive ability to invite friends to join VUCA uh, to join VUCA and own a few of the limited memberships available so what, all you need to do is add their email here right add their email here and click send invite link and then it will the the link they'll automatically receive a link in their email that will invite them to join VUCA and it's important for me to tell you that between now and 31st of September, uh, VUCA has a referral campaign where if you invite your friend to join this platform and they successfully pay their membership fee and start investing, then you get 50 free units of the Acorn iRide. And those 50 free units are valued at 1,100 and 1.89 kenyan shillings that's a good amount of money you to get for just inviting a friend a whole 50 uh, thousand um, a whole 50 units please note that this referral campaign will uh, is valid up to 31st of september so go ahead and do it now before and earn yourself some uh, some good um, money or some investment the next page is the frequently asked questions so this page has most of those questions that you, uh, you DM me or most of these questions that you're curious about the VUCA platform. So as you can see, there is how can I become a member? How What are the various categories of subscriptions? How can a member buy and sell units? All that that I've taken you through, they have taken the time to explain to you all that. How does the dynamic and static wallet work? It's also here. So please take time to go through the frequently asked uh, questions page um yeah please take time to go through this page and you'll be good to go and after that you'll be you you now have a full understanding of how this platform works of course if you still have a question about it please leave it in the comment section and so how do you log out out of the platform Ta -da! that's it now i'm back to answer a few frequently asked questions from the wealth tribe question number one can you downgrade your membership yes you can uh if you wish to do so you have to wait for the subsequent year when you're renewing your membership um and so you choose you know the lower category but of course you have to understand that these memberships are subject to the in to an investment amount so for example you can't invest two hundred thousand and remain in the silver in the silver category or in the silver membership category take note of that question number two how can you get support from the VUCA team if you have an issue about your VUCA dashboard of your Econ iRight investment or anything related to the Econ iRight or VUCA in general you can um, email them at care care at vuca.co.ke you can they also have a toll free number um, that you can call them during the weekdays uh, during the work hours is to 8 to 5 p.m and i'll write the number on the screen um the third question that i get all the time is that people always tell me that you know you signed up on vuca uh you signed up on vuca and you did the registration and you, you invested some amount but anytime you log in on your portal um there's the investment is yet to reflect so most well tribes want to know should you be worried the simple answer to this question is no you should not be worried and let me explain why there are two ways that you can invest on the nairobi securities exchange and the nairobi securities exchange is simply a market where public where you can buy shares of publicly listed companies uh, the main way is by investing through the main exchange and the main exchange is where big companies right such as safaricom kcb equity and the likes are listed and so because these are this is the main exchange there's a lot of activity on this exchange because the demand and supply is very high now there's another the second way you can invest on the nairobi securities exchange is using a lesser known platform called the unquoted securities platform this unquoted securities platform is where the acorn i write is listed yes and in kenya in general reads is a, a relatively new um, concept and a lot of Kenyans or a lot of people in the world don't know a lot much about REITs. Therefore, the demand for, for REITs in Kenya is low as compared to the main exchange. So the demand on this unquoted securities platform is low. There is a capital market regulation that requires that for an investor to do a trade on the unquoted securities platform, you have to invest at least 5 million. Yeah, you have to invest at least 5 million. Retail investors and retail investors are 
you know, small investors like you and I don't have five million. And I've shown you on my dashboard, I don't have five million. Yeah. So retail investors, we don't have five million uh, to to invest or to uh, to go to the unquoted securities platform by themselves. And therefore, this is where VUCA comes in. And so VUCA is an aggregator, and ag- an aggregator is simply someone or an organization that collects our money on our behalf and does that five million trade at the end of the month um on our behalf and yes so this um trade this five million trade uh this uh, five million trade is done at the end of the month and this is exactly why because cma the capital markets authority only allows one trade per month and this is exactly why when you log in onto your platform and top up money and buy units you'll you'll not uh a unit will not be assigned immediately yes your money will reflect on the platform but it will take until the end of the month in order for you to see that you own x units based on your last purchase so i hope this clears the air and i interviewed um the VUCA team and I also interviewed the CEO and he explained this concept and I will link the videos in the description or somewhere here or here. All right. So that's why you have to wait. So the simple answer is no, you should not be worried. Relax. You're in safe hands. This is a regulated investment. Another popular question, is there a time limit for depositing money onto the uh, VUCA platform? No, there's no time limit. You can deposit your money, you know, on the uh, dynamic uh, wallet or you can log in and buy the units like I showed you any day of the month, any time of the night, 24-7. But as I've explained, after you do that, then you have to wait until the end of the month in order for this, um, for your units to be assigned. Question number five, can Kenyans in the diaspora invest through the VUCA platform? Yes. In fact, I would advocate, um, and actually I live in diaspora. I'm currently um, living in Dubai. And I would I would prefer to invest in real estate through the VUCA platform as opposed to, you know, the way we use our relatives and our friends. Uh, we send them money to buy us plots of land or we send them money to build us houses and we end up being victims of scams. So instead of being a victim of a scam, it's better to use such a regulated um platform and then the second way why you should consider VUCA is because you get a higher return um the the return from real estate you know from traditional real estate in kenya you'll get a return of between 4.5 percent to roughly six percent but through the VUCA platform you'll get a return of um in 2021 it was 9.4 percent return and in 2022 it was 8.2 percent so see this is higher return and it's safer so yes kenyans in the diaspora can invest um i would advise that you invest invest in real estate through the VUCA platform. Last question, how do you get the best of your investment on the VUCA platform? Just like any other investment, you will um, make money if you are investing regularly and consistently. It is the consistency that counts. And that is why a month ago when I invest, when I um, interviewed the Acorn Holding CEO, he insisted on that consistently so for example as you saw on my dashboard um i currently have only like around ten thousand shillings invested on that platform so after that interview i learned um better ways on how to approach this investment and therefore from now moving forward i'm going to be uh to to be investing around eight thousand a month so that i hit the fifty thousand at least fifty thousand um that he recommended that you should invest on the platform in order to get the best returns if you still have questions about how to invest in the VUCA platform leave them in the comment section you know i always read all your comments and i always respond otherwise please click like so that youtube can distribute uh, these videos to more people subscribe to this channel and most importantly invest consistently build wealth through estate uh, through real estate on the VUCA platform thank you